India has invited a delegation of the Argentine Air Force, that will comprise of pilots and technicians to come to India, for a full technical evaluation of the Tejas light combat aircraft, that will include both simulation flights and actual flights. Argentina is looking for the assembly of 12 fighter jets in the country from completely knocked down kits, and other major parts and components will be supplied by the winning company. The Argentine Air Force has also sought the assistance of the winning firm, in the modification and integration of Argentinian weapons and systems in the future, and also allow the production of key wearable parts. After the recent changes in Project 75I, the German offer of Type 212 CD class submarine is seen as the top contender, that features a sea-proven hydrogen fuel cell-based air independent propulsion system. The Type 212 CD features a new stealth design, and the hull will be diamond-shaped, to deflect emissions by the active sonar systems that are equipped on anti-submarine warfare ships. It will also feature a new combat system known as AUKA, that will allow the analysis of larger amounts of sensor data. Germany is building two Type 212 CD submarines for the German Navy and four for the Norwegian Navy. While on the other hand, the financially troubled South Korean shipbuilder Dewu Shipbuilding has suffered approximately $600 million in damages, as production was stopped due to a 51-day strike, and another $67 million loss from an Indonesian submarine contract that has yet to take effect. 24 retired French Mirage 2000 fighter jets have started arriving in India via sea routes and around 300 systems including panels and airframe structure from these retired aircraft will be used to maintain the present Mirage 2000 fleet of the Indian Air Force, and keep it operational till mid-2035. The MiG-29 UPG Jaguar strike aircraft and Mirage 2000 will be replaced by the indigenous Tejas Mark II aircraft, that will enter full-scale production in 2028. The Indian Army has concluded the user trials of enhanced range Pinnaker rockets, and 120 rockets were tested during the user trials. The rockets were manufactured by two firms, Economic Explosives Limited and Munitions India Limited, and they fully met all user requirements during the trials. The Indian Army has a requirement of 1000 units per year for rockets of this class and the Army will now place an order for the 45 km range enhanced range Pinnaker rockets, and the order will be divided between the two firms. The Indian Army has started trials involving three private Indian companies, for the upgrade of 2500 BMP-2 infantry fighting vehicles, and the upgrade package includes see-through armored technology, anti-drone system, a high-powered engine, a specialized air burst ammunition, NAG anti-tank guided missiles, and an integrated loitering munition system. Other systems that are to be upgraded are the gunner main sight, commander panoramic sight, fire control system, automatic target tracker, and laser range finder. The Aeronautical Development Agency is procuring 10 units of anti-gravity suits from French firm Safran Aero Systems, that will be of 5 different sizes, and delivery must be completed within 3 months from date of contract. Anti-gravity suits are designed for an elite group of pilots and astronauts, who are subject to high levels of G-force, and this suit is designed to prevent to G-lock. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has decided to indigenize over 300 strategically important line replacement units over the next three years. The light utility helicopter will get 29 local substitutes, light combat helicopter will get 44 local substitutes, advanced light helicopter will get 43 local substitutes, Dornier 228 will get 45 local substitutes, and the Su-30 aircraft will get 6 local substitutes. Thank <laughs> you.